Hey folks, Bob here at Bob's Classic Cars and Parts and we have a couple of Mopar A-bodies here. I am deep down in a junkyard in the woods in North Carolina. A buddy of mine runs this junkyard and uh, he gave me permission to come in here and I am looking at this car. It's got a V8 engine in it. The point of scamp. I'm going to say about a 72. And I'm going to ask him about this hood, even though it's got a dent here. I need a hood for my scamp. Yeah, that's a little 318 there. Air-conditioned car. Looks like it might have had, yes, it had power steering on it. Electronic ignition, so it's at least, maybe a 73. I'm not sure. When did they do the... I don't think this is a 73, is it? Oh, let me... Oh, this hood is rusty. Never mind. I don't know. It depends on what he wants for it. I can work with it. Oh, old scamp ain't nothing fancy. Man, we got this uh, this dart here. I'm guessing. Let me see what this year dart would be. That'd be a '68 dart there. Four door. Let's uh, have a look at the inside of this old car. And that piece of mold in there is bent to crap. That is a shame. I think I can fix that though. I believe I can fix that. I'm gonna take that out with me and see if he'll sell that to me. Hmm. I might be ship there. I might be able to sell that to somebody. I think I can fix that. Let's keep on walking on around here, folks. Let's see, let me make my way around these briars. Bear with me here. Let me hit this other side over here. There we go, we made it to the front. Old hood's got a major dent in it. Major dent. Major, major, major dent. Leaning tower of power. An aluminum steering box looks like. Those are desirable. That little fender there might be some good. You can get down here and have a look at it. Oh yeah, she got a hole down there at the bottom. Never mind. That's a shame. There's a scamp. The van scamp. Have a look at this old thing on the inside here. Moss growing on the top of the dash. Probably too far gone to save, but oh, there's chrome trim just laying everywhere out here on the ground from these cars. That bumper don't look bad at all. The tree's gonna grow into it. And that lip there around the trunk it don't look bad. Hmm. Gravel pan looks uh, halfway decent to me. It has some rust on the edge. It's hard to just pack with a lot of dirt. Oh, let's see if I can get in here. And briars or something else. The lower quarter's got some rot. It's not to crawl them around the wheel well. Looks to be okay from what I can see. Wheel, the wheel lip trim, you know what I'm talking about? Work my way on in here a little bit better. Oh, that one looks to be okay. This is so hard to get to. That rocker molding looks good. Looks real good. It's already halfway off, too. Alright, folks, there you have it. A pair of A bodies. Let's see if I can uh, get in here and have a look at the. Uh, Yeah, man. Got an underdash AC unit. Automatic on the column. Alrighty, folks, there you have it. 
Got some A-bodies way back down there here in the woods. This old junkyard. He's been picked over a little bit. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you Mopar A-body guys got a kick out of that. I'm going to probably talk to them about the hood. I'll leave the rest of the parts to anybody else that wants to come in here. I want to wait till it gets cold though. Alright folks, subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends. And uh, like, hit the like button, comment. We're out here bringing you this stuff and we're walking through the woods and getting ticks and encountering other critters. <laughs> and uh, we drug an old go-kart out of, we was in a uh, junkyard Virginia earlier. Found an old go-kart back there in the woods. Had to drag it out amongst all the trees and junk cars. So, uh, pick up a few parts here and there. I think we got a couple of grills we pulled today and uh, I think we're going to get some tail lights and the headlight off an of Imperial too. So, folks, take care. Hope you enjoyed this. And I thank you guys for watching my channel and subscribing. I really appreciate that. A lot of you guys really love it. You're sending me all kinds of messages, and I thank you so much for that. It really makes me feel good to do this for you.